end of this government in 2015, they would have cut 22% from the National Fire and Rescue Service budget, which equates to about 6,000 job losses. In the West Midlands, we serve 2.5 million people. Up to six, seven years ago, we had 2,000 firefighters. Uh, we're now at this present day down to 1,450. And with the uh, future government cuts for the Tories, it's going to be down to 1,250. So we've lost nearly half our workforce. We've got a lot of cuts coming out. We're two in Humberside, losing the approximately well, two or three stations are looking to close down in, in, our, in our area. The fire service is already stretched to capacity. We're now riding fire engines with crews of four. Some brigades are even riding with crews of three. They're even taking away fire engines and giving us vans to drive around in. In uh, Norwich City, they cut 20% of fire engines uh, a couple of years ago. Um, we're now in the process of being consulted on uh, the brigade's uh, current integrated risk management plan, um, which has highlight, highlighted another £3 million in savings. It's the same everywhere, uh, no matter who we speak to from whatever brigade, the cuts are happening everywhere. They're happening in South Yorkshire, they've just proposed some new cuts now where they're on about making some of the two pump stations, the second appliance is going to become part time at night, the downgrading aerial appliances. So. All these cuts that have an effect on safety for firefighters and for members of the public. Historically, response times in the last five years have gone up by one and a half minutes. So um, this is, you know, cutting uh, staff, cutting appliances is not going to make the situation any easier whatsoever. Response times are extremely important for firefighter safety. Uh, obviously, the sooner you get the fire plants there, the sooner you put in safe systems of work. So therefore, the fire plants have to be there quick, and the second and third fire plants have to be there quick as well, or you cannot put safe systems of work in. If you can't put safe systems of work in, firefighters are going to die. In the West Midlands, a few years ago, we attended what we call Category A incidents, that's life risk incidents, like people who have got burning buildings. We used to attend over 95% of these incidents in under five minutes. Now. We're only attending 60% of them, and this is just going to get worse year on year. And basically, the longer it takes us to get there, the more people are going to die. You don't know what you're doing! 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 There's no way that firefighters can work to the age of six years of age, running into burning buildings and rescuing people. Would you expect 58, 59 year old firefighters? Uh, crawling through confined spaces, working in temperatures six, seven hundred degrees, um, dragging casualties about. The government commissioned their own report because they wouldn't believe the independent reports that we commissioned. That report stated that 66% of current firefighters will not be able to reach the age of 60. There was one recommendation to be dismissed from the capability. So they're telling me that I've got to work for 35, 40 years and then be sacked at the end of it with no pension whatsoever. We already pay one of the highest contribution rates in the public sector and private sector, uh, getting off 13%, about £350 a month. And the reason we pay so much into a pension is so that we have the opportunity to be able to retire early because of the occupation that we do. What they keep saying is, though, is that there's redeployment opportunities. We don't have those opportunities in the fire service. All our jobs are frontline. It's important to a lot of people. You've got such a variation of people within the service between 10 years service and 30 years service already and everyone that's, even those that are protected by the pensions are still you know, really angry at what the government are trying to do. It hasn't come to Northern Ireland yet but we are extremely worried about it and that's why we have a delegation from Northern Ireland here today to support our colleagues in England and Wales in the pension campaign and to support London in particular with the cuts agenda. This is the biggest turnout we've had from South Yorkshire coming down to London. You know it's a fair way to, to travel and as you can see it's quite a long parade so I don't think it's just with the fire service though, I think it's with everybody. Uh, the saying to this government, enough is enough.